Both correctional officers and inmates believe they're getting the short end of the stick as the number of positive coronavirus cases reaches over 30. Some SEALs believe they should be given more PPE than what they're already provided with. As the coronavirus continues to spread within the Yuma prison complex, both inmates and COs are afraid what this could mean for them while living and working in close quarters during a highly contagious global pandemic. COs say there's a lack of personal protective equipment both parties are being provided with. They were limiting us to one box of gloves uh, per shift. So if, if we have a total of 20 officers, there's 100, 100 pairs, 100 gloves total in a box. That's 50 pairs, so that's almost uh, two pairs per glove per officer, and I think that's uh, that shouldn't be right now with the circumstance that's going on. I don't think there should be a, a limited of gloves that we use. Seals are also claiming to have been given N95 masks sometime last month and haven't received any new ones since. On the CDC website, it's suggested to limit the number of reuses to no more than five uses per device for safe use. As for inmates, seals say they aren't allowed to wear face coverings and they continue to be exposed to other inmates still waiting for test results. Still coming now. For reg, they talk when they go to uh, chow or I mean when they when we feed them breakfast or they come out for like to use the phones or go to medical. Currently, the inmates who tested positive for the coronavirus are said to be isolated in a garage-like setting. News 11 reached out to the Department of Corrections but have not yet heard back. CEOs say they feel like more can be done to contain the virus within their walls, but there's only so much they can themselves do. A lot of officers are scared to report things because of administration, you know, that they're going to retaliate, you know, because it's happened quite a few times. And to add on, News 11 is receiving reports of a second unit under quarantine because of positive coronavirus cases. This information is not confirmed by the DOC, but we have reached out and are waiting for a response. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Crystal Jimenez.